All right, we're going to talk about how to cannulate a distal radial artery. This is a really nice technique to use for A-lines in the emergency department. The distal radial artery is actually a branch that comes off the radial artery. It kind of runs across the snuff box there. To actually use it, though, you need to kind of flex the wrist and then use an ultrasound to get into the artery itself. It's pretty big. If you like doing things in the transverse direction, this is what the artery would look like. But I tend to prefer to do things more in the longitudinal frame, and this is what the artery looks like there. And you can actually, if you look carefully, you'll even see it pulsing there. Here's the probe in a longitudinal direction, same as any other arterial line. You might come in very shallow because the artery is very close to the surface there. Obtain blood and then thread your catheter over it. Here you can see a video of the A-line actually being placed. If you look carefully, you can see the artery at the top of the ultrasound screen there and again it's in the longitudinal direction there's the artery there and if you look real carefully you'll see the needle go into the artery and then when the tech actually slides the guide wire over it if you you can see it on the screen you may be able to see the wire itself go into the artery you can see how the artery is curved because it's going over the carpal bones going from the dorsal to the vulnar side of the wrist there and now the guide wire is into the artery itself, at which point you can go ahead and thread your catheter just like you would any other arterial line or venous line for that matter into the artery. And once it's in, you can go ahead and do all the other procedures that you would normally do for an arterial line, get it sutured in place and hooked up to your monitoring system. There we go. And just hook up to the monitoring transducer and then suture it in and you'll be all set to go. And that's it. Distal radial artery cannulation.